Hello everyone, this is Mr. P. On today's lesson, we're going to take a look at the second conditional. If she won the lottery, she would buy a big house. So let's get started. First, let's do a general, quick overview. Yes, a tenses revision. So first, we have the past simple. The helping verb, as you may know, or auxiliary verb, is did for every person. So first, second, third, fourth, and so on. We use the helping verb did for negative sentences or questions. Just like these examples. She didn't go out yesterday. Did she go out yesterday? For an affirmative sentence, you need to learn the past verb. So, for example, we have go here. What is the past verb of go? Is went. So, they went out yesterday. These are irregular verbs, but they are also regular verbs that end in ed. So, remember that. Now we're going to take a look at would. The helping verb is would, obviously. So, an example would be I would or I'd go out. He wouldn't go out. That's a negative. Or he would not go out. Negative sentence. And for a question, would he like to go out? So, notice the verb. The verb is in green is the base of the verb. No change. That's easy, right? Yeah, a piece of cake. So now we're going to uh, take a look at when to use it. So we use the second conditional to talk about things in the future that are unlikely or things that are impossible in the present. So, how is it formed? Well, we have the following formula. If, that is a conjunction, plus the past simple, then comma, would, plus the base of the verb. Now, let's take a look at some examples. If he worked, he would get paid. If I didn't see you, I'd mark you absent. If she graduated, she'd start to work. If he didn't want to go, he'd tell us. If I were you, I'd talk to her. If they want the money, they wouldn't share it. So notice the second example, I use the contracted form of would, that is apostrophe D. I'd, she'd. He'd, I'd, and then I used wouldn't instead of would not. And let me tell you that this, is, this form, the contracted forms, are used when we speak. When we write, we want you to use the long version. So, would not, or I would, like I did in the first example. There is another way to say this. So, you would use would plus the base of the verb plus if plus the past simple. Let's take a look at our examples again. He would get paid if he worked. I'd mark you absent if I didn't see you. She'd start to work if she graduated. He'd tell us if he didn't want to go. I'd talk to her if I were you. They wouldn't share the money if they wanted. So notice in one of my examples, I said, if I were you. So I could have said, if I was you. Now, for the conditionals, it's better, because it sounds better, to say, if I were you. Or, if he were you. Or, if she were you. It just sounds much better for the first and third person singular. So now, let's practice. 
Complete the sentences with the right form of the verb. I will give you 5 minutes to complete it, so pause the video, and then I will give you the key. Now that you're ready, let's take a look at the key. If I were you, I'd call her. She'd move to London if she had the chance. We wouldn't go out if the weather was bad. If he were younger, he'd travel all over. They'd win the contest if they studied for it. Well, one last consideration. There are other ways of forming the second conditional. If only you were interested in English grammar, you'd watch other lessons on conditionals. Do a search in my channel and you will find them. So yes, this is an example of another way of forming the second conditional with if only. If only you were interested in English grammar, you'd watch other lessons on conditionals. Well, that's it for today. Uh, thank you for watching and if you have any questions, please ask me under the video. Uh, if you haven't subscribed to my channel, I suggest you do. If you like the lesson, please hit on the like button and you may share the lesson with your fellow classmates. Until next time, and always be awesome. <laughs> Take care. Bye-bye.